right, just a quick rundown on this. This is a, a Freightliner Cascadia. It's a 16 model, doesn't have the low front bumper. This truck's locked up. It also has a busted air fitting in the air tank, so I can't get the truck to air up. So I wanted to show you guys a way to release the brakes and supply air to the suspension. That valve straight right there, that's a quick release valve. The black line going into it on the very back side is the line you want to supply air to to release the brakes. I went ahead and took the time to uh, air up the suspension too to show you how to do it in case you get one that's wrecked or, or whatever and you need, to, you need to air up the bags if it's got a truck and trailer. Uh, you see I got that, that quick connect T fitting in there. I got the line running from the, from the 90 coming out of the quick release valve to the T. And then straight out of that, I got a line running up through the frame rail. Let me show you where that goes. Uh, okay, I don't know if you can see the yellow line going up. That goes to the level valve, straight to the level valve. Let's see if I can get you a better shot of that. Goes to the leveling valve. If you look on the leveling valve, you see which line it is. Let me get to the front side of it. Okay, it'll be the one on the right hand side on the top. Just quick release that quick release. Stick your airline in it. Tie it into your T. Got my plastic line run over this way. Got a 90 in it. I just hook my airline into it and that will release the brakes. I won't be able to hold the phone and do this at the same time, so just listen for it. And what that'll do is that'll release the brakes so they'll free roll and it'll air up the suspension. got my airline run up to the front of the truck if you were to have a truck and trailer and you needed to do this and you couldn't air up the truck I got a short airline that I would run from this fitting along the frame rail to a T here my airline would come in this way to supply air to the whole system on this side of the T I would have a rubber airline that goes up to a spring hangs there and then comes down to the trailer so one airline from the wrecker We'll release the truck brakes, air up the suspension, and release the trailer brakes. All right, edited to add this in. I've deflated the airbags, as you can see, they're deflated. They're nice and soft. I disconnected the airline. That way I can show you this, this, this actually works. So I'm gonna reconnect it. Hold on, let me just a sec. Alright, I've supplied air and released the brakes. I'm gonna air up the airbags and see, see them inflating. Starting to inflate. And there they go. Bags are inflating, so makes for a nice, easy tow. All right, I wanted to show you guys some trucks since I have different trucks here. This is a typical pack car setup, Kenworth Peterbilt. That center valve is the same valve that was on the Freightliner. You see it. See that line that comes up from the front of the truck, right there, goes into the front of the valve right there. That's actually a yellow line. On the, most of your newer trucks, they're color coded. It's either gonna be black or yellow. So you'll, you won't mess with the orange or the green lines to release the brakes. So on the Peterbilt and Kenworth models, you would disconnect that airline right here, right there. And you would take your fitting and your piece of airline and stick it in there and that would release the brakes on the Kenworth and the Peterbilt's. I've got an international over here. This truck's running, so hopefully it ain't too loud. It's actually got a T fitting in the top. You can see that right there. 
you would tie in on the driver's side. Same way I did on that other fit, and you would tie it on the driver's side, and that'll release the brakes on the whole truck. All right now, now I'm back at my office. Decided to take a minute to show you this laid out on the ground. All right, your fifth wheel would be up here. That's the quick release valve that's on the back of the Cascadius. That's where you would tie in on that line right there. You can tell because it's got the big valve inside. It uses it's got a big uh, uh, nut on there. So that's where you usually tie in. That's usually your supply on on, on your trucks. No matter what what kind of uh, release valve it is, it should look like this. So this yellow line is the line supplied from your wrecker. You would TM supply this line right here into that. This is if you want to air up the suspension on the truck. So that's what this line's here for. It would go up to the leveling valve on the truck. So you, you're feeding the air suspension and the brakes on the tractor with one airline. If you follow this airline up, it goes to a T. And all these fittings on my truck are already pre-made. They're all, they're all ready to go. So if you take a look, this is the airline coming off the wrecker. It goes to the T. Of course, you got the yellow line that goes to the back to release the tractor brakes and air up the suspension. And then you got an airline, you supply your own red airline to release the brakes. I got a spring up there, that's how it would hang on the truck. And then you got your glad hand, of course. Now, if you if you notice, I got a female quick connect on this end and a male on the red line. That's so if I get to my destination and I have to separate the truck and trailer, I can just disconnect the airline from the trailer and still have the truck brakes released and the suspension up on the truck. So that locks the trailer brakes down and you can you can separate it. This would be on your uh, Freightliner Cascadias and your uh, Western Stars, stuff like that. All right, same setup, but this is without worrying about the air suspension. This would be in a situation where you're just trying to get it out of the road or whatnot, get it back to the yard. You would just tie your, your plastic line into your T, and you would come back to the quick release valve, and you would just unplug the airline supplied from the truck and supply your line to it. Release your truck brakes, truck and trailer are both released, you can get it out of the road. All right, when you see it with this fitting in front of the fifth wheel, now this, this will be set up in the front of the fifth wheel, and I, this ain't the valve for the uh, Peterbilts and the Kenworths and the International Pro Stars and the Volvos, but they're going to be set up in some fashion like this in front of the fifth wheel. On the International Pro Stars and on the Volvo tractors, it's going to have a T in it like this. So what you would do is you would unplug, the, this is the driver's side right here. You would unplug the driver's side airline from the tractor and you would do the same thing. Run your plastic line, tie it into that valve. You've released the brakes on the truck. And if you have a trailer, you use your T, you just hook up the airline. Now you've released truck and trailer brakes with one airline off the wrecker. All right, on the Peterbilt and Kenworth, same thing. But they're usually gonna have a 90 in it and it's gonna come in on the front side. Once again, look for that nut. It'll be the same way on all the trucks. So far, every truck that I've run across, if it's got this big nut right here, that's the supply line. <clears throat> Distribution lines will be regular cast, almost always. So look for that big nut. That's the valve that you need to tie into to release the brakes. So. You'll have a big valve here and a big valve here that actually works the brakes when you hit the pedal, but this is the valve to release the brakes. It'll be right in the middle. And you can use, it's usually almost always a yellow line on the newer trucks. So you can just follow that yellow line, disconnect it, hook your line into it. Once again, come back to your T if you've got a trailer. Hook your airline for the trailer into it. Run it to a spring to the back of the truck, down to the trailer. Secure it all to the frame, and you can release all the brakes, like I said, with one airline from the truck, no caging pins.